In this video, I will go over why NBA basketball is the best league in sport to positive expected value, bet on, and how to go about doing that. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. So positive expected value betting, what it is and why the NBA is the best league to do it on. So what is positive expected value betting? And I've seen this in a lot of different videos and I feel like a lot of times people make it way more complicated than what it needs to be. But plus EV betting is simply the implied win percentage is greater than the sportsbook win percentage. So you can find this implied win percentage that can either be a model driven approach where you are doing some regression analysis and you're coming up with your own win percentage for either money line spread or totals, or you're using a sharp sports book to get to this implied win percentage, which is the methodology I'll show in this video, or you can use some algorithm or computer generated outcome to get a win percentage. And then you just compare that win percentage to what the sports book are offering as far as their American odds, you convert those to percentages just to kind of make it more tangible in your, your mind to, to do that analysis. And if they are greater, that's a positive EV bet. So add it, that is as simple as I can make it is just simply, you think the win percentage of a matchup is greater than what the sports book's saying, that's a positive EV bet. So that's what EV betting is. And so why it makes the NBA such a great league to EV bet on? Well, one is just the volume of games. There's going to be anywhere from a handful to over a dozen games each night. So you're going to get a really quick feedback loop. Whereas with football, you get one slate of games each week. So it's just, it's tough for someone, especially if you're new to EV betting to get that buy-in because you don't have enough quantity to, to really base a, a good um, judgment on. So that's, that's just the first thing. It's just, there's going to be a lot of opportunities. And then the second is quality of matchup. So unlike college basketball, where there is a lot of disparity between teams, especially in the non-conference slate, NBA, you know, for the most part, almost every team can win on any given night. So you're going to have just better matchups. The sports books are going to be more confident in their lines. And so you can just feel more confident placing EV bets. And then finally is the sports book odds. So what I mean by that is each sports book knows that the NBA is a massive betting market. And so they're going to you know, set their lines independently and there's going to be some fluctuation between sports books. So if you do some good line shopping, you have accounts with multiple sports books, you're going to see a lot of odd disparity between them each night and within each matchup. So it just allows for more opportunities there. So that's just really high level of what EV betting is, why it makes sense for the NBA, especially if you're getting new to bet sports betting, or if you've been betting for a while and haven't made money, you know, now's the time to make a pivot, do EV betting. In the long run, this is really the only way you can be profitable with sports betting. So in this video, I'm going to walk through a comprehensive model where we're going to pull pinnacle odds, copy and paste, drop it into Excel, and be able to identify when we have implied win percentage that's greater than the sports book percentage. We'll use the Kelly criteria to bet the optimal bet amount, and then we will make money in the long run over the NBA season. That's the goal, and that's what I'll be outlining here. So stay tuned, and here we go. Okay, everyone, I am over on Excel. I have pulled up the model that I'll be walking through today. And so if you've watched my other videos on EV betting, especially the NFL or college football, some of the feedback I received on that was, hey, the model works great and the math all works out, but inputting the odds from Pinnacle is pretty tedious because it was a manual process of going through each matchup, money line spread and total odds. And anytime you want to update, the odds, it would be going through that whole exercise again. So I, I, I hear that feedback and I'm really excited to, to roll out some drop in copy and paste logic from Pinnacle to make the, the odds update way more dynamic. It is basically lookups anytime odds update or you want to just do a refresh, see what new opportunities are out there. It is a copy and paste from Pinnacle. So just want to highlight that. So anyone who has seen the other videos and was like, oh yeah, love to do this, but it, I just don't have the time to go through each matchup and odds. I think I found a really slick solution and I'm excited to share that today. So just wanted to highlight that before we get into the actual model and mechanics. So with that said, let's go over to Pinnacle and let's grab our odds. So it is NBA preseason odds. The Whenever the regular season starts, it'll look the exact same. And all we have to do is we're just going to copy down 
the matchups for the day. So start at that Boston Celtics, copy down to the bottom, make sure everything's highlighted in blue. Do a control C to grab it. We'll go back here and then we'll do the drop in tab and then do a control V. And you can see it just copies in really ugly. So this is just unfortunately what makes the transferring of the pinnacle data table into Excel a little tricky. So you copy it in, you're gonna get this little paste options control option, and you're gonna to wanna to select the match destination formatting. So what I've done is I have made every cell on this sheet a, a text. So if you wanna do that yourself, control one, and you wanna make the format cells text. And so what that does is it makes this minus seven, minus 105. So the spread here on the Charlotte Hornets, Boston Celtics matchup, if you don't make that a text cell and you make that just a, a number, it's going to actually calculate that. And you can see now it changes to, to minus 112, which means nothing for us. So that is just, it'll take any of these copy and paste values for Pinnacle and actually just treat them as a, as a formula. So we don't want that. We want them to be text and just say, hey, like we want to bring it in exactly like that. So if you're going to Create this model yourself. That is something that you're going to have to do is just make a drop in tab or a column and make it all text. So that's probably the biggest takeaway from what I've only way I've been able to find to really get the pinnacle odds in effectively is make everything text, copy and paste it in. It's going to be clunky looking. It's just going to be this stacked column of all the, the matchups, the odds. But from there, I have some index matching here. Let's clear out what was in the model before. And so I have, starting with the money line, just an index that's going to look up our matchup value and be able to pull in the money line odds. So we'll just go through the, the matchups for today. So this is the only manual um, updating you're going to have to do with the way I have this built out. You can see as I bring in the matchups, the teams, it is bringing in the odds, which is what we want. And yeah, so you can do this once and then for the rest of the day, if you want to just keep betting on the, the matchups, you could just do copy and paste in. You've already brought in the matchup, so the odds will just update. So um, I hope that this is you know exciting for people if they, you know, you want a way to be able to do EV betting, make it you know pretty time efficient. And so, you know, we just went through all the slated games and everything, you know, Everything's brought in now. You can add the date in there if you want. And so here we go. We got our money lines for each one of the matchups. And then I have the same where the spread's automatically going to bring in both the, the handicap amount and the spread line along with the total. So that that's your that's your manual update. That's that's how to maintain the model and updating things. And so if you want to try to build this yourself, here's the formula I'm using. It's just index match, looking up this matchup. I've made this a, a data validation drop-in to make sure it's, you know, it can only be the team names that are formatted of how Pinnacle does their, their odds formatting. And so we can go compare. It looks like the odds have actually updated. So this is a good example. So it's showing minus 255 and plus 207 on the Celtics Hornets matchup. And you can see we're bringing in different odds. So they must have updated since I... Copied it in. Let's do another copy and we'll just make sure that that all looks good. Okay, let's go back to the money line tab. Minus 255 plus 207. Minus 205. Minus 255 plus 207. And then the other matchups 187 minus 228. Plus 187 minus 228. And then the minus 109 minus 107 for the Timberwolves Bulls. So there you go. So that's real live example of just how easy it is to update this, how the odds will automatically flow through to the model. And then from there, how to do EV betting. So if that all looks good, like, okay, that seems pretty easy to update the odds. How do I actually take these pinnacle odds? What, what, why do I need these and what do I do with them? So with EV betting is you're essentially looking for win percentages that are greater than what the sports book is offering. That's a positive EV bet. And Pinnacle is considered the sharpest sports book in the world, which just means that they're going to have tighter lines. If you can, we look at their handicaps, for example, you can see the minus 108, minus 108, you know, pretty standard for some, I say, less sharp sports books like DraftKings or FanDuel. You know, you're going to see a lot of minus 110, minus 110. 
And so Pinnacle is basically saying, hey, they're the most confident in their lines. They're going to have tighter lines and they're going to have less of a VIG. So whenever you take out the VIG, you're going to get a more accurate actual win percentage. So we pull in Pinnacle odds and then we just convert those odds to what I'm calling a VIG percent. So this is going to be a total that's greater than 100%. So you can see 104.4. So we have 4.4% of VIG. We need to remove that and we just do that pro rata by taking 71.8 plus the 32.6, divide that to get to 100%. So it's 68.8 and 31.2, 100%. So this is what we're saying is we're saying the premise with EV betting, especially this is what I'm calling sharp sports betting, is we're saying Pinnacle knows more than we do or anybody else as far as how the Celtics Hornets game is going to play out. We're going to take their odds. We're going to remove their slice of the pie that big, and we're going to get to 100% odds. These are fair odds and say 68.8% chance Celtics are going to win, 31.2% chance the Hornets are going to win. Is any sports book giving us odds that are better than that? And if they are, that is a positive EV bet. So you can see we just convert those to break even odds, which is American odds. So anything that's longer than minus 221 or plus 221 that's a positive EV bet. So that's as simple as I can do it as outlining. That's the premise is with EV betting. And when you, when I'm calling this sharp sports, but sharp sports betting, EV betting is you don't know better. No one knows better than the sports books. They're going to win in the long run. So you might as well bet on their side and say, I'm going to take the one that's saying they're most accurate and use their percentages and just compare that to the other sports books and recognize that there's going to be times where a sports book is going to be wrong. And I'm going to bet on that and make money in the long run. So that's EV betting at its core. And then I have a market width over here, which is just looking at the absolute value difference between the two money line match for each matchup. And that just measures basically the confidence that Pinnacle has in their lines. And so I have the ability for us to update what is the max amount we're willing to, to take a bet on. And I, I like to use 50 as a benchmark that usually captures pretty much every matchup for NBA. Um, maybe there's some questions about like a player injury or something, or there's just um, a matchup that's really lopsided. You'll see a market width above 50, and it's best just to avoid those because the math may still work out that it's an EV bet, but there's just a lot less confidence in those the win percentage, so it's not as reliable. And this is really critical if you do college basketball betting. So just wanted to highlight that I think it is important to, to identify the market with. And again, that's just the absolute value difference of your, your money line lines. And I have the model built out where you can set that parameter to whatever you want. It's going to be conditionally formatted to highlight in red whenever it's above your, your threshold. So if you make it 25, you can see we have three matchups that are above that. At 50, everyone is under that. So all betting opportunities. So that's kind of the money line part of this. And so now, okay, what do I do with this? How do I actually identify EV betting? And so what you do is you line shop. And what line shop is you, you have accounts with a lot of different sports books. You compare for the Celtics Hornets game. Is anybody offering odds that are longer than minus 221 or plus 221? If they are, you place that bet. That's an EV bet. So look, We'll go over to Sportsbook Review. It's what I like to use for my line shopping. And we're just going to go through each matchup. And it does highlight in blue what are the, the best odds for each matchup. So that's a good way just to identify quickly. You know, start there and see if anything looks longer than what you had in the model. So FanDuel plus 240 on Charlotte. We go back here. You can see our break-even odds were plus 221. So there's an EV bet right there. And so we can go up here. And I have it so we have a Kelly criteria built out. So you just select the team you're betting on, the Hornets. What was that sports book? That was FanDuel. And they were offering two plus 240 odds. So right now that's EV bet, meaning the sports book is saying there is a 29.41% chance that the Hornets are going to win. That's just converting this plus 240 odds to a one percentage. If we go down to our table, we are saying that the implied win percentage is 31.2. So the Hornets, we're saying, have a better chance of winning than what FanDuel is saying they do. That is a positive EV bet. And so therefore, 
based on the Kelly criterion, us having a thousand account value with the Kelly adjustment factor of 0.5, we should bet $12.66 on that plus 240 FanDuel Charlotte Hornets money line. So that's how that's how to do EV betting. That's how to do line shopping. And then you can see the best odd we have on the Celtics is minus 265, where it, it needs to be longer odds than minus 221. So that is not an EV bet. So we wouldn't place anything on the Celtics. And then we can just go down and look at the next matchup. We have the Timberwolves and the Bulls. And so we're looking for Timberwolves longer than minus 101 and Bulls plus 101. And if we look through here, neither one. So it's minus 115 on the Timberwolves and then minus 104 on the Bulls. So no EV bet on that matchup. And then we can go down to the Pistons and the Thunder, plus 184 and minus 218. So plus 200, minus 200. So there's no EV bet there. The Suns and the Lakers, minus 115 and plus 105. All right, so here we got another we got another EV bet here on the Lakers. So our break even is 102, and then DraftKings has given us plus 105. So let's plug that in just to show another example. Let's select the Lakers. It was on DraftKings. Now it's plus 105. So there's a seven dollar and fifty six cent bet based on the Kelly criteria. And again, I'll just talk through the the math here. So we're saying that the Lakers have a 49.6 percent chance of winning. DraftKings is saying, based on the odd they're offering, that they only have a 48.78% chance of winning. So Lakers, based on what Pinnacle gave us, we're saying the implied win percentage is greater than what the sportsbook is offering. That is a plus EV bet. So that is how to, to go about placing EV bets. That's how to do line shopping. That's how to use the money line aspect of this model. So you can see... and really easy to update. I mean, let's go back to, to Pinnacle. I don't know if the odds have changed, but if let's say you come back and you do this in the morning, you come back at night right before the game start, you copy in the, the data table again, copy that in, go to your drop-in, paste, select the match destination formatting. You go back to your money line tab and you can just run through the line shopping again. And you, you can do this you know, multiple times throughout the day or just once, whatever works for your schedule and how you like to do your betting. But I just wanted to highlight, like that's that's as easy as I think I can make it as far as utilizing Excel to, to make EV betting really streamlined. Uh, there's there's subscription services that you can subscribe to that you know will do all the line shopping for you, but if you wanna do this manually and not have to pay for something for a subscription, I, th I think this is probably about the best solution you're gonna find. So I, I'm really happy about <laughs> How this turned out i think it really is a great product so um, i do will have, I'll have a follow-up video where i'm going to go into a little bit more detail here on the spread in total so the same logic will work here on spreads and totals where i'll bring in the the pinnacle odds and then i actually have um, the spread values that are some logic here where it's going to actually extrapolate those spread values minus 2.5 and plus 2.5 spread lines and the same on the totals so you can have, you know, these different sports books will offer different values. So they may not do what Pinnacle is saying as the base. So I have all that logic built out. I'm going to go into a lot of detail on the spread and totals, but just want to highlight that that's built into the model as well. Otherwise, uh, hopefully if, if you want to build this yourself, you know, big takeaway is drop it in, have a text, um, drop in formatting cells. You can bring in the money line convert that to a big money line percent, back it out, get to a true implied win percentage, convert that to American odds, break even odds, do your line shopping based on that, place your EV bets. And that, you know, that's, that's how to do EV betting. It, it does take some time, but this is really the only way to, to ensure that you're going to make money in the long run. And NBA basketball is a great way to get started just with the volume of games, and the quality of games. So I really do feel like this is, if you've ever been on the fence about EV betting, I think now is the time to jump in with upcoming NBA season. So I hope you found this helpful. I do have this model available for purchase. Link in the description on my Etsy page. That includes, like I said, the money line, the spread, the total. I do have a bet tracker and a dashboard that comes with it as well. So 
Um, hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the, the follow-up video where I'll go over spread and total in a lot more detail. So thank you and God bless.